friends, it's Candy here. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to discuss with you guys my first paycheck budget for April. So, if you're new here, I make videos every other Monday, or at least try to, uh, regarding my budget and my attempts to live a more frugal and intentional life. So if that sounds interesting to you, I hope you will subscribe. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So right here, as you can see, I got a little creative and in my composition notebook where I keep up with my budget, I put the um, month and the year here and I got a little creative. I used my fine liner pens that I bought from Dollar General and I filled these flowers and went over this vine um, in my, I believe it's called Crocs and they're brush pens. So um, I went over it with that. So I thought that looked really pretty and very springy for April. So, right here, we get paid on the 30th of the month. That is considered our paycheck one. And my husband got a little bit of a bonus this time. So, we got paid $2,674.88. Um, with that, we paid for our mortgage, which, guys, has gone up a bit. I guess they re-evaluated our mortgage um, statement, which has an escrow account attached to it which is where our you know our homeowners insurance comes out of that and our property taxes also come out of that and i guess they assumed we didn't have enough in escrow so um it went up to 557 dollars and 21 cents and i guess that will be our new payment from here on out until it's reevaluated again probably next february um, right here, our Citibank statement, um, I paid $260.26, and this will be payments, I believe, one of two to pay off this $520.53. Actually, no, this will be payment two of two, and this will pay off the $520.53 because I like to split my credit card payments into two payments as I'm sure most of you are well aware at this point. Um, power bill, $149.65. So this is down from last month. I think last month it was 170 something to that effect. Um, my student loan is on forbearance, so I owe zero on that for now. Um, I believe it's going to come off of forbearance on September 30th, so that means my first payment would be due back um, probably in October. Um, water bill was $34.50, and I've been meaning to contact them about this because that seems a little bit high. Normally, it's about $30 bucks and some change. So, we'll see how next month uh, goes, and if it's still at this level, then I may give them a call and see what's going on. Hopefully, we don't have a leak of some sort, or we're overusing somewhere. Anyway, um, TW stands for Total Wireless. This is our cellular phone service. Um, we pay $59.07. Highly recommend them. They've been a very good company. Um... 414 is my husband's student loan. This is our current debt snowball, but because our student loans are on forbearance right now, I um, have created a sinking fund, which I'll talk about more below, um, to build up this account until around right before it's about to come up off of forbearance, because I have heard through the grapevine that they may be looking at relieving some student loan debt. I don't know. You know, that's all kind of up in the air, but hopefully that may come to fruition. And if not, I'll have all the money sitting aside in a sinking fund that I created simply for this purpose of paying off this student loan. So when that time frame rolls around, around closer to September 30th and Nothing has come of any student um, loan relief. 
then we will pay this off, uh, most likely, or close to having it paid off. Allowance is $40 this month. Normally, I withdraw $80, $40 for myself, and $40 for my husband in cash. Um, typically, we give our children an allowance as well, like a small allowance, which they normally choose to buy Robux with that, so we usually end up charging that on our Citibank card um, because... Roblox, for some reason, won't take a bank card. So anyway, the reason I only withdrew 40 for him is because I'm still working through some birthday money that I received and some Valentine's Day money that I received from my husband. And so I did spend some of that more recently, but I still think I have some money left over, so there was no need for me to withdraw my part of the allowance this time around. But we'll see how it plays out on the next paycheck. Gas went up slightly um, to $50. It was at $40, like $20 a piece, but um, I upped it a little bit because the gas prices have gone up a, a little bit, and so now it's at $50. Groceries came down a little bit. I think it was at $250 last month, but it came down to $240, and I believe that's because I've started shopping at Aldi's again. Um, and that has saved us like a ton of money. I can't even tell you how pleased I am. I don't, I don't know why I even ever stopped shopping there because the prices are amazing. The food's pretty good and you know, my family loves it. So, um, 240 is where we're at right now. Um, budget buffer, the budget buffer is how much was left over in our main checking account before this paycheck hit and all these bills and you know other superfluous expenses came out so we were at $58.25 with that our slush fund which is a separate checking account for depositing money like after we pay all the bills after we take this out as well it still had $48.47 left in it into which I was able to put $622.19. Now, guys, this is pretty high that I was able to put in there. Normally, it's no more than, gosh, I think in the past, the most I've ever been able to deposit back into this account would be like 500 bucks, maybe. So, and the reason for that is, is that my husband did get that bonus up here. This is not our normal, typical payment. So, this is important why it is to make a unique budget for, I guess, each paycheck or each month or weekly, however you get paid. Because, you know, your income could change or your expenses could change. So that leaves us with a grand total in the slush fund of $670.66. Now, this is that sinking fund I was talking about earlier that we're going to use to pay off or try, attempt to fully pay off my husband's student loan should not should any student relief not present itself in the, in the future. Um, so right now it was at one thousand three hundred twenty four dollars. I added another six hundred sixty two dollars to that after we took out all of our expenses for a grand total of one thousand nine hundred eighty six dollars. Okay, now down to our savings. Our savings still remains at $16,346. I did not add anything new to this. Um, we have not received any further payments from the IRS for our taxes. I think we got all that, and we got the last, um, I guess, government um, assistance that came out last month. We got that last month, so... Our savings account remains at sixteen thousand three hundred forty-six, which is a nice buffer. Should anything, you know, arise, should Murphy come knocking on our door, our um, debt, our total debt, still remains at twenty-nine thousand two hundred seventeen. So it's going to remain stable at this until probably around August or September, when we probably make a huge chunk of a payment to help pay off my um, husband's student loan. Now, some important dates were April Fool's Day, 
Um, let me know, guys, if you got tricked on April Fool's Day. I mean, I know a lot of people don't celebrate April Fool's Day or they don't do anything naughty on April Fool's Day. But let me know if you got tricked in any way. I did see some YouTubers, you know, some silly YouTubers that my children watch try and do an April Fool's kind of, um video for their uh, channels, so that was kind of fun to watch. I, I kind of knew what was going on, but, you know, and I think the kids did too. They just got a kick out of, you know, these YouTubers trying to, I guess, do an April Fool's trick on them. Um, on the 4th was Easter, and for those of you that celebrate Easter, I hope you had a wonderful Easter Sunday. Also, that was my niece's birthday, so happy birthday, um, and what we did was we went to my mom and dad's house, we played games, we, um, we did an Easter egg hunt, and we celebrated mine and my husband's birthday, which are in late March, and we celebrated her birthday, which was actually on Easter this year, so um, that was fun. And had a really good time. And I hope you guys had a really wonderful Easter too as well. So guys, that's it for my budget um, for the first paycheck of this month. I hope you all are doing well and having a great day. Take care guys. I'll see you next time.